As much as they hate, throw shade, talk trash, I have never and will never wish harm upon them. I want to see them winning in life by following Christ. Don't spend so much time and energy trying to tear me down when you can use that same time and energy building others up. I'm honestly not worth it. Your time is so important and valuable to God. Don't waste it trying to curse what God has blessed. I get it. You don't like who I am, but you can live your life in such a way focused on the things you do like. The purpose God has given you is more important than attempting to destroy the purpose God has given me. This is from false teacher, word of faith teacher, Brian Ayala, and you can hear a lot of these false teachers always make excuses and saying that we're tearing people down when really we're issuing an alarm according to Ephesians. And I get it all the time on this channel that um, you're causing division and even the recent one was you're persecuting these people, which is very hilarious. They're false teachers and we're supposed to expose them. And here's why. Here's something that Brian Ayala also posted. It's shifting in my favor, declare it. You see, declaring and decreeing is a huge part of the word of faith doctrine. Guys, this is false teaching. This is a false doctrine. We are issuing the alarm loud and clear run from Brian Ayala and Extreme Harvest Church. Guys, welcome to Would You Run In Times Bible Channel. Beep, beep, beep. Listen, this is also some uh, post from Brian Ayala Extreme Harvest Church. And I want you to pay very close attention to it. Something good is coming into my life and ministry. I declare it and believe it and you should do the same. And look below. There are times we pray, declare and decree and nothing. This does not mean God is a liar. And then he goes on. The funny thing is, is that they speak truth in the midst of their deception. Declaring a decree and does nothing. And y'all, here's another one from Byron Ayala. To any dry bones reading, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. God is putting breath in you and you are coming back to life. The crazy thing is they always take these stories and apply them out of context, meaning to you. They do that with the dry bones. They also do that with being in the desert like Israel was for 40 years and you need to come out, come into your promised land. And you saw the previous post where Brian's talking about a shift is coming. He has another shift coming. And that is another thing that you have to watch out for. Those are trigger words. Shift in the atmosphere. I feel a shift. I feel the atmosphere changing. Guys, this is not biblical this is extra biblical you can't find anything in the word of god that talks about atmosphere shifting in our favor and also y'all might wonder why i'm mentioning brian ayala quite a bit it's because i used to attend his church and he is a word of faith teacher i saw him mishandling the money there were a lot of lies and deception that he did including his wife kia ayala so I am issuing an alarm to run from him. And here he is again. Have faith to see your new, your now time. Now season at this moment. They're very big. The word of faith doctrine on seasons. You have a breakthrough, a season coming, a season of change, a new season. It's all about seasons. And guys, compare this to God's word. Is this biblical? No, you can't find any scriptures to back anything that they're saying up. So we have the daughter of popular charismatic teacher T.D. Jakes. It's Sarah Jakes Roberts. Actually, she's declaring peace, love, <clears throat> and joy. She's declaring and decreeing, and she's telling people that she's declaring and decreeing. Guys, declaring and decreeing, you think that you have some sort of power to declare into the atmosphere to do as God did in uh, Genesis or speak things into the existence. We are not 
able to do those things. The Bible never says us as believers can do and operate in those kinds of things. Only God Almighty can declare and did speak things into existence. We have zero power to do any of this. So here's one by Daniel Adams, who is a demon slayer, ex-demon slayer, still says he slays demons. If you ask the Lord Jesus Christ to give you something new, something fresh, then by his spirit, I line up with what you said, and I decree and declare that this new year is a new start. They always, always say new season, new start, breakthrough, and declaring and decreeing it doesn't make it so, doesn't make it that it's gonna happen. This is one of the ones that you've got to really, really watch out for is Daniel Adams. He actually believes that Christians can be demon possessed and scripture does not confirm this at all. So quite a couple of things actually that bother me about Apostle Catherine Crick, I say that very loosely, Apostle. Um, the part two on that paragraph says, by his stripes we are healed and not just by words. This is the contract that you can show the devil and say you cannot steal my healing, it's illegal. And the enemy does not steal a healing. If you're healed by the Lord, it is not taken from you. This is classic word of faith doctrine also. And I've heard Kenneth Copeland teach that uh, don't let the devil steal your healing. She also on the very top paragraph says to truly have dominion on this earth, you must live with the revelation that you truly have authority and all darkness is subject to you. Um, that is not true. The Bible doesn't say all darkness is subject to us and we have all authority. Jesus has all authority over darkness and dominion. All authority. And right here, of course, we've got T.D. Jakes where he's saying, let us declare, decree and declare with the expectation that the promises of the kingdom will manifest in our lives. What does that mean? Promises of the kingdom will manifest in our lives. We cannot decree and declare even if we expect it. I did it for years. You cannot declare and decree. You're speaking things into the atmosphere, expecting and saying that you have this authority in Jesus' name. That doesn't make it so. There is no biblical evidence, actually, that says declaring and dec decreeing with our mouth has the evidence that they say that we do and of course we've got Joyce Meyer who always declares and decrees be careful what you say about your future prophesy your future declare what you want to see happen and what God says can happen rather than just worrying and again this is more declaring that we have some sort of special powers and just because we say I declare in Jesus name it's gonna happen everybody thinks that it's gonna happen and it's not Ah, uh, and Todd Bentley, take a peek at the first paragraph. There is an anointing to proclaim, prophesy, decree, and declare a season of supernatural favor and recovery. You see, all word of faith doctrine, it goes straight to the decree and declaring. And also, you've got the uh, trigger warnings about a new anointing, a supernatural favor, recovery. I mean, everything that happens bad in our lives is actually according to word of faith due to the devil so everything's got to be taken back from the enemy's camp so we need to prophesy declare and decree and this is what todd bentley actually teaches and has taught declare with me in jesus name as we declare that your end will be better than your beginning Ugh. and here's more from todd bentley angels are on assignment our breakthrough trigger warning breakthrough breakthrough are released when we obediently declare god's word and will and will, I'm sorry, and words activate angels to heed the voice of the word we decree. Then he says, sometimes we must stand up and declare, Satan, I rebuke you and your works of darkness in Jesus' name. Guys, again, trigger warning, breakthrough. There's always a new season, a new breakthrough, declaring and decreeing. And then that second paragraph, rebuking the devil. Nowhere in the Bible do you see any of the apostles or any of the early church rebuking Satan. There's not even a, a Bible verse that I can think of that can substantiate that we are supposed to rebuke the enemy at all. 
And we come to Kenneth Copeland, one of the biggest Word of Faith teachers. Let's declare the end from the beginning. COVID-19 is defeated in Jesus' name. So when he said that, it was March 31st of 2020. Guys, clearly his declaring in Jesus' name did not help COVID-19 continued. Um, hundreds of thousands of people died from COVID-19. I had a cousin who died from COVID-19. I had COVID-19 for almost a month. I could not breathe. I went to the ER. My mom had COVID pneumonia, was in the hospital for five days. Declaring and decreeing does not work. Okay, and this is interesting. Thanks to Jesus, you are free from the law of sin and death. Yes, we are. Then he says, make the declaration, I am healed because I obey God's word. I seek the blessing and avoid the curse. Healing is mine. I live in divine health and I will never be sick another day of my life forever. Says the man who has, I believe, a pacemaker. See, if you turn the tables around to these faith preachers, you're going to find that a lot of them have medical issues. Benny Hinn has something wrong with his heart that he's undergone treatment for. You've got Kenneth Copeland. Um, Rod Parsley had throat cancer, and he says God healed him, but really all he did was undergone, uh, underwent chemotherapy and got rid of the cancer. And this is why I get so much slack for exposing false teachers, false preachers, false prophets, because they interweave truth mixed with a lie. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord, and she's sharing a Bible verse. Then she's got, this is the message that we have heard of him, and now declare to you, God is light, and in him is no darkness. It's true. Then she says, declare God's truth every day, and you'll start to see it manifest more in your life. See? That's what's been missing in my life. I have to declare and decree. And then things are going to start showing up. Y'all, it does not work. Again, there's no Bible verse that says to declare things in the atmosphere. They take uh, Genesis out of context. They take Jesus' own words out of context. We're not able to create things into the atmosphere. And Jenny Weaver, she is also part of the Demon Slayers, and she actually rubs elbows alongside like Brian Ayala from the beginning of this video. She also says, I declare and decree that strongholds are coming down. Jesus is lifted high. Just because you put Jesus' name on something that is false doesn't make it any less false. This is still classic word of faith doctrine, and she has no problem singing it, declaring it, decreeing it, and teaching it. So when I first heard about this octopus spirit that she's talking about, the first thing I did was laugh. It's not anywhere in the Bible, any kind of octopus spirit. You cannot back that up with scriptural evidence, guys. And we have like an inside joke that now like my sister-in-law will come in the room and she kind of flings her arms around the side all loosely and says, uh-oh, watch out, the octopus spirit. I mean, where on earth are people getting some of this stuff? And y'all remember when I told you in some of my previous uh, heretical posts and memes videos that Word of Faith teachers often use um, situations or stories from the Bible and apply it to us today, which you cannot do that. That is not using proper exegesis, but they have no problem with always using going to your promised land. Just like her, she says at the bottom, we declare we live in the land of milk and honey. No, we don't. You don't know what everybody's situations are. You don't know um, what they're dealing with, and you don't know what the outcome is going to be. We do know that if we love the Lord, those bad things are going to turn out for the good, but it's not because you are declaring and decreeing that these things come out on top. So guys, just watch out for these faith preachers because they're everywhere and they're very, very, very popular. Guys, thanks so much for hanging with me for this video again. I know that we have more in store because 
all of this false teaching is actually everywhere but guys be on guard be uh, wise as serpents but gentle as, gentle as doves always speak the truth never be afraid and for all the naysayers who are going to come at me for going after their favorite preacher I have a description box um, and I have a response to that so you can actually read that for yourself but anyway God bless you guys um, and I will see you in the next one bye Ooh.